Resident Evil 4 is regarded as one of the greatest games of all time. So with Resident Evil 2 and 3 getting remade, the possibility of Resident Evil 4 remake is inevitable. So today guys we are going to be talking about Resident Evil 4 leaks here in this video. This is an updated list so you might hear some leaks that I've already mentioned and I'm going to be talking about some new ones. Before this video does start though I do want to preface everything is subject to change. Nothing is confirmed. These are coming from reliable sources and they are just rumors and leaks at the end of the day but if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video please drop me a like subscribe if you guys are new and put notifications on it really does help out the channel and i really would appreciate it without further ado guys let's get into resident evil 4 leaks so i'm gonna run through the smaller leaks in this section of the video really quickly and this is small things but they're pretty important Capcom hasn't officially confirmed a Resident Evil 4 remake, but the remake has been in development since 2018 according to the leaks. It is suggested Resident Evil 4 will be different from the original and be semi-open world. There was a leak that made itself onto the web during the Capcom infamous leak that had images of the village from the start of the game. It has been since been removed. Capcom wants the game to be more than just graphically enhanced, they want the game to be improved by the experience. Sony is offering a PlayStation 5 exclusive, but is not sure for how long. The game will have connections to Resident Evil 2, 3, and Village. Alright guys, continuing on. The Merchant and Chainsaw Wielding Enemy Killer will have an expanded role. So I feel like maybe their story will be fleshed out a little bit more, but I feel like their importance into the game will be more important. I don't think from a story perspective, they will be more important, but I think from a gameplay perspective, maybe, right? I could see the killer chainsaw guy from the very beginning of the village being more in the game than the original. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about the remake than the original, essentially. And here's my favorite part. And this is Dr. Salvador. He will have a stalker role being parallel to Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake respectfully. So for Re Resident Evil 2, it was what Mr. X that was chasing Leon around the whole time with the RPD. And then in Resident Evil 3, it was the nemesis with Jill. And I think that's what they're pretty much trying to aim there. Wouldn't it be pretty cool if you could just see Dr. Salvador lurking, trying to find you the entire time during the game. This one's a pretty quick one, but this was the PlayStation trailer tease. I made its own separate video a long time ago, but just to be quick about it, there was a PlayStation trailer, and in that trailer, there was a Lost Plagas tease, and... This is my way of, and this is a lot of people's way that Capcom is aware of the leaks and people that they definitely know about the rumors and leaks that are surrounding their game right now. So they do know that people do know what's going on. So yeah, to, to say this is just an ordinary is pretty weird. But to confirm that uh, that deal between Sony and uh, PlayStation or the so the deal between Sony and Capcom, I don't know. That's starting to put the puzzle, puzzle pieces together right there. But um, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. The trailer had the Lost Plagas logo. You guys can be form your own opinion on this. I think that it's definitely a tease. The next leak we're going to be talking about is by DJ Douglas, and that is the Wesker voice actor. And allegedly, he shared Resident Evil 4 concept art. This was apparently concept art for his character in Resident Evil 4. Wesker is in Resident Evil 4, not in a huge way, but he is the one who instructs Ada to go get the Lost Plaga sample. And apparently he broke his NDA on live by admitting to playing Albert Wesker in the separate ways portion of Ada's campaign. Now here's the concept art. I doubt it will get taken down because of this, but it's not something very huge. But man, I would feel bad for Capcom in this regard because he they did break he did break his NDA. He was just telling people, hey, I'm Albert Wesker. You know, that's pretty funny to think about. <laughs> 
Alright guys, so this is going to be the last leak of the video, and I've mentioned this already, but Claire will be in Resident Evil 4 alongside with Ada's campaign portion. So camp uh, Ada's campaign will also include Claire, but here's the thing, why do we need Claire in the game, right? Don't get me wrong, I love Claire in Resident Evil 2 Remake, and I love her character overall, but what does her character need to be in the story? And if anyone wants to say, oh, well, they need to connect the stories together from Resident Evil 2 to 3, and it's like, dude, we don't need that, though. You know, there's definitely a lot of lore in Resident Evil 4 that combines all of the games to the overarching timeline. Like, Wesker is in the game. Wesker was part of Stars in Resident Evil 1. You know, like that's that's just an example but i mean that's gonna have to wrap up today's video guys i definitely hope you guys enjoyed this is gonna be a longer video than usual i i've been <laughs> heavily lacking on content and this is definitely a video i hate making um you know i hate talking about leaks in general sometimes because it does get me a lot of hate but then at the same time it does get me a lot of views you know i can't be stingy now no but overall guys i hope you guys definitely did enjoy this video and i hope to guys i hope to see you guys in the next one and without further ado See you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.